Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome to my GEC troubleshooting guide. If you don't know, GEC stands for Gillen's Encounter Counter, and it's the most popular encounter counter used within Pokemon. It's a way for us to automatically keep track of the number of encounters that we have, and that's really just a fun sort of progress-based thing. Even though your encounters doing up doesn't actually mean anything in the game, and the game itself isn't physically tracking those encounters, but it's just a fun way for shiny hunters and just players alike to feel progress, even if it's not actually happening. Encounter counters are fantastic, but Gillens can be a little finicky, and there's a lot of issues that can come up with it. And it's an incredible program we do have, but there are a couple things that might help you out throughout fixing Gillens encounter counter. Now, there's a couple of different things that can happen. It can just not count your encounters. It might break or present you with an error upon launch or many, many other issues. So I'll try to run down all of the ones that I'm familiar with. I've been using this program for around two years or so now, and I feel like I understand a fair bit of its quirk. So obviously, if it's working, it should just work as such to where I'm going to get an encounter. I'll get five encounters. You'll see it go to 108. It's also important to note that I'm using a custom theme. This is this custom theme is available to the public. If you Google Pokemo uh, Tnums Encounter Counter, themes something like that it'll pop up and he has a link in the description to this shuckle theme if you would like to use it the default encounter counter may look a little different all right there we go first things first though those times fives should count if you do single encounters they should count etc etc the first thing you want to do if you're ever having a gc issue is simply close the program and reopen it usually closing into the program and reopening it is going to fix most issues do that a couple times sometimes let the code run try to like select your pokemon window when you're launching it it may help a little bit we don't really know it's a very finicky program but make sure to close the program turn it off and on again Next up, something I recommend is to sort of adjust your window size. So just to like adjust it and change it back. If you're having issue with it tracking your encounters, go ahead and change your resolution. You can change things around. Try to go back to this, go to back to your previous one. It almost sort of lets the encounter counter readjust or reassign what it's looking at. And that falls into a really important point. Make sure you're not playing on full screen. You can be on borderless windowed or windowed. Make sure you're not playing on full screen. The encounter counter just simply doesn't work. From my understanding, it's like sort of like an overlay and it's gonna be reading your screen. The way that the encounter counter works, and this will go into our next point, is that it reads your screen and it's looking for a couple things to my understanding. I think it's looking for this text and I know for a fact it's looking for the green bars on the Pokemon. And this actually brings us to a pretty interesting thing that some players will have happen. Some players will say that their encounter counter isn't counting things correctly. But the reason that's happening is because they'll be flipping on the GTL or, or doing something else or have a bag open. So if I actually cover the encounters with my GTL like this, it won't count properly. So watch this. See how it actually didn't count any of my encounters. I actually, we know that my encounter counter is working. I just used it. It was working fine. But the fact that I covered all my encounters, all the HP bars, it actually didn't work. So let's try this again. But I'm going to try to open something else that's a bit smaller. And I'm only going to cover some of the encounters here. So do you see? It actually counted these two encounters. That's how powerful covering the HP bars is. Since I covered the three HP bars and I left these open, it actually still counted two encounters, even though I got five. So covering the HP bars is a really, really common mistake that you'll see. And it's a pretty interesting mechanic. It can actually be used if you want to be lazy and your encounter counter is at that 113 and you want to clean it up and make it look like 115 for whatever reason, you can be a little lazy and just clean up your encounter counter like that. It's okay if your encounter counter isn't like 100% absolute absolutely correct uh you i usually will make it like under to correct it versus going over encounters but yeah doing stuff like that is it's a pretty fun little quirky mechanic to be aware of Another quick little tidbit, especially if you're like new to GEC, if you if, like this is your first time running it, or if you just reinstalled it, making sure that you have a folder selected. When you launch GEC for the first time, it usually prompts you to select a folder. So when you launch it for the first time, you want to make sure that you have Pokemon open all the way, and then you want to launch it and just like don't touch your keyboard or mouse and let everything load and let the little the script and the code run. And then what should happen is you should get a little pop-up that says like select your Pokemon folder. Sometimes it'll just automatically do that. So if you don't get that, don't worry, but wait on that initial load up to see if it gives you that prompt to actually select your Pokemon folder. And for that, you just select the folder. And so it knows where to actually go and where to read. Here's a more specific or I guess somewhat technical one. If you right click your Pokemon uh, encounter counter icon on your desktop, which you can actually just make create one by going into the folders and going over to pokemo uh should be under data mods finding gillen's encounter counter going to i believe gec and then scrolling down and right clicking gec 
and sending this to desktop. Uh, you can make a, a shortcut if you don't already have that, but I already have my video covering that. The real point of this little technique is to show you guys that if you come to this folder, sometimes this is a, a weird quirky one and I don't understand why this works, but I've had this work in, in both ways. Sometimes you might need to create an extra folder for your GEC to run through. Like let's go GEC and just create that and just put it in. And sometimes like that would, that would actually fix issues I've had with it. I, I don't know why sometimes I've had it break and I've had creating an extra folder actually fix the issue. Sometimes I've realized that that extra folder is actually preventing it from going through. So I've had to delete the extra folder. I don't know why this happens. I, I could not explain it to you if I tried, but I have had it happen where sometimes in the mods folder, you might want to add an extra folder to the path or delete an extra folder from the path. It just kind of depends. That's like a last hope situation. If something quirky is going on there is also a debug option if you right click pokemo the encounter counter at the top right hand corner of the screen scroll all the way down i can't show you this as it doesn't capture on obs there is a little orange debug yellow orange debug button in the bottom left corner of the screen honestly don't know what it does but it should be used to debug certain pokemon or specific pokedex entries and then finally, as a last resort, you might need to reinstall Gillen's Encounter Counter as a whole. A huge uh, problem that I've noticed, this is a really common thing that everyone should try to evolve, uh, avoid, excuse me. If your computer or device or whatever it may be shuts off randomly. So for example, if I'm playing Pokemon and I'm shiny hunting and I have a power outage or something like that, a lot of the times, like 90, 99, maybe like 90% of the time, GEC will break. If you are... In, you know have the program open everything don't force shut off your computer that's a huge one if you're someone who force shuts off your computer you hold the button to power it down probably shouldn't be doing that already you probably should go down to windows thing and you know left click and shut down let it you know shut down in a couple minutes or hopefully less but you want to be careful because if you force shut down your pc or if your computer gets force shut off while you have pokemo open with the encounter counter up 90 percent of the time it just totally bricks it and you have to reinstall it was a huge issue with my girlfriend where she would um be playing pokemo and she would close her laptop to like put it into sleep mode and that would like often brick and break her encounter counter so you kind of have to learn the muscle memory and just be aware of that um make sure not to force shut off sleep your computer whatever like make sure to close GEC, close Pokemo before you do anything like that. If you ever present with a straight up error message, it's hard for me to replicate because I can't really force an error aside from breaking my encounter counter. Once again, your, your best option is just to close and reopen the app a couple times and then worst case scenario, reinstall. Make sure that when you go for the reinstall, you should delete all your other GEC folders and truly get rid of everything. Unfortunately, this is where it becomes an issue. Like remembering your encounters is super important if you care about keeping track of that information. So maybe try to write, write that down. And if you're bad with memory, write it down like a notepad document or something. That's something I used to do for a little bit was write my encounters here and there in a notepad document to just slowly keep track. But nowadays, since I stream and make videos and everything, it honestly is a really nice way to um, sort of have that documentation. So recording your shunts if you want to is a, is a really cool way to document how many encounters you have just in case your GEC breaks. And I think that covers mostly everything. Here is a quick little thing from Gillen himself that I wanted to go ahead and cover where he talks about uh, bugs and issues and possible things that could break the GEC. He says, hey, I got approval to make the app, yada, yada. Uh, he, he says, if I ask you to report a bug, if anything crashes um, unexplained, please report the bug back in the following format. Description of the issue of what happened. Uh, is the issue reproducible? Anything in the debug folder? Did the app spit out an error at you? Uh, if so, please screenshot it. What Pokemo client theme are you using? That's an important one. Like other mods and other themes might interfere. What UI is your scaling is your client on? If you ever have an issue or a bug like this, actually reporting it to Gillen is a really good way to like future fix and foolproof the GEC for other players and yourself alike. So making sure to always report those bugs is super nice and super important. That is pretty much it for me today. Hopefully this video was helpful. GEC is a fantastically powerful program that can be a little finicky, but we're super lucky to have it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the Twitch for streams. Links down below Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below as well if you care about that. And if you're interested in that, if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, if I've helped fix your GEC client and uh, I've earned it from you and you can afford it, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo is wildly appreciated. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. Hopefully it was a positive asset on your day in some way. And thank you to everyone's name who's on this list, who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day. I appreciate you all. Thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what I do.